Created and published by none other than Firefly Studios, Space Colony Steam Edition was released into the world on April 30th, 2015. This is a remaster of the original 2003 version that, get this, was not only sold in a box, but I bought it and installed it using these things called discs. I know, weird, right? Boxes and discs? Crazy. All kidding aside, I did play it back in 2003, and like many others at the time, I really liked it. It wasn't a blockbuster or anything, but it was oozing personality and had just enough sci-fi goofiness to tickle my fancy. The newly released Steam version is in HD, 1920 by 1080 of course, but to be honest, it just looks like the graphics are exactly the same, just completely zoomed out. <laughs> But it also has included a new single player campaign, which I'm really excited to see. Steam achievements, trading cards, modding and Steam workshop support, which is amazing for any game. Ability to save games on the Steam cloud. Okay, cool. And But uh, aside from that, the game appears to look and play more or less the same, which isn't a terrible thing. Like I said, it's fun. And yeah, so we're going to be doing a full playthrough of Space Colony, which is really exciting. But before we do that, I'd like to say a special thank you to Audi Cook Me. He is a member of my community that gave me this copy of Space Colony. Also, the developer of Firefly Studios, the developer of Space Colony, also gave me a copy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy something off of Audi Cook Me's wish list to pay him back for giving me this copy because that's just how I work. And we're going to give away a copy of Space Colony just so everything seems fair and balanced in the world and that makes me feel a little bit better. And all you need to do to win this copy of Space Colony is to leave a comment below and I'll be doing a draw around the third episode of this Let's Play. Good luck everybody. So, but without further ado, let's just take a look at our options here. So. Play Space Colony takes you into the main campaign. This is the original campaign that came with the game. I have not seen Play in here. I, I just went in and took a look at the intro and that's it. Um, but I have not seen exactly where the new campaign is. It might be later on. I'm not sure. I don't remember this exactly. So I'm assuming that it's in here somewhere. You can also go into galaxy mode where it says become a space tourism tycoon or cling by your fingernails to bug infested rocks. In galaxy mode, you decide your own course. So in this mode, it's like it's like little missions. So for example, the scouting party heading home, technical hitch. So if you go there, oh, can I even go there? <laughs> How would I even go there? I don't know. Oh, power. Oh, the, okay. So yeah, they're Blackwater like individual industry. missions. We have a which large is shipment of advanced electric. Interesting, but we're not going to do that right now. So I, I guess there's all sorts of neat challenges, and I don't know if you start with which characters you start with because there's different characters you can start with in the game. We're going to talk about how the game functions here once we get going, but uh, we'll get there. Sandbox. Sandbox mode. Um, you start at any one of the these chosen plane. planets. They all have different attributes. Some are easier than others, um, but you get to start with a whole no bunch of different colonists no and, and no you get to use all of their skills and abilities. Scans. Why is she talking? Then for a huge really? I, I left there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so and then we've got user play, play, uh, play user created games. So this is where you can play things games that you've actually created with the editor. So you can actually create new planets and of course uh, create new campaign. Link planet maps together to form a new scenario. Interesting. So you can create a whole new campaign like the original one. Uh, that's very very cool. I'm assuming the new campaign is linked. Do the original one here, or maybe oh maybe I can load it. Actually, let's let's User let's see. Ah, there it is. Yes, you can load the new campaigns here. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, perfect. Play so anyway, we calm. are going to play the main campaign. I'm going to start at the very very beginning. Um, it's actually worth playing through, and it's interesting. And it's fun. So I'm going to play the intro. We will see you and talk to you in a moment. Ladder team, this is Control. How you guys doing down there? Walk in the park. Making our approach. Give me a minute. Sure thing, miss. I hope this one's better than the last stop. No bar, nothing to do. So boring. The company picks some stick, not me. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't so bad. They had a jacuzzi. Okay, heads up. We're going in. Down and clear, Control. Give me the floods, please. Control, what's the entry code? 
Entry code is 280503 Alpha. Copy that. Computer. Computer. Oxygen level stable. Pressure stable. Interior temperature at two degrees and rising. Damn, it's cold. Quit whining, Stig. But I like whining. <laughs> Knock it off. Get on the console. Nitrate levels look good. Should be plenty of nutrients. Don't tell me we get to eat this time. If you're lucky. What have you got? Uh, faint life signs. A couple of big ones, but nothing close. Run it through the database. No can do. Too much interference. Probably the storm. Will whatever it is cause us any problems? Nothing Stig can't handle. Fine. We've got a ton of iron deposits. Still working on the trace elements, but I think iron's where the money is on this one. I trust you've seen the menu, Venus. Can I take your order? Sure. Can you prep us a couple of shredders and an iron rig to get us started? For Stig, a steak. Medium rare. Yeah, right. Who's down next, Control? Tammy. She'll be with you in five. Oh, Son of man. Oh, that's the prop. It's gone right there. I mean, uh, what's the hell she to do anyway when she gets down here? I'll run her through the training program. Yeah, for a hundredth time. It won't do no good. As long as she's out of fire. I don't care. Oh, we better get it loaded. It looks like she's early. You're kidding. Hiya, darling. Hey, Tammy. Great to see you. I've just loaded the training program for you. Oh, right. Well, I was kind of hoping... Computer, fire it up. Okay. So, uh, I guess... Uh, hold on. There we go. So, Tammy's training. So, here we go. <laughs> uh, this is where... Oh, okay. So let's just read through this. levels are to be raised to operational levels. Operative Tammy is to reacquaint herself with these controls. Nutrient stocks are to be established in readiness for base expansion. So all of these missions are linked together, and all these characters can gain experience, learn new skills, um, build relationships with each other, and every single mission, like I said, are, are linked to each other, and it continues on. So that's one of the wonderful things about the campaign as opposed to playing in the sandbox mode is, you know, you play one sandbo sandbox game, it's not linked to another. And you, uh, the, the other thing about the sandbox Already mode that activated. always kind of bugged me First is that um, you start with all of the characters and all at once and there's not enough jobs for everybody to do and it's really can, it can be really confusing. And this game's a bit of a click fest. So what is this game? It is, it's kind of like, it's, it's a okay. colony Venus. building game or a, a colony... A colonization game, I guess. I don't know what you call it, but it, it has arrived. elements of Sims. So each one of these characters that are on your planet are, have uh, the same kind of needs as... I'm just going to pause it here. Have the same kind of needs that your characters would in, in Sims. Uh, and more, as a matter of fact. So, for example, you've got your general happiness. Now, Venus is happiness. The, Venus is kind of the protagonist of the campaign. Uh, female pro strong female protagonist. I love it. Uh, we don't see enough of this. And she's a non-sexual character. And I, I I mean, I don't know. She is kind of scantily dressed. But you can't zoom in anymore, so you can't see it. I don't know. But anyway, I like I like the fact that it's a female protagonist. That makes me happy. Because you just don't see that very often. And you'll notice she's got a full set of needs, just like you would see on Sims. She's got financial needs, entertainment needs, uh, need for human contact, which is like your social, and then your food, of course, your hunger, uh, sleep, hygiene, and health. And health, if health reaches zero, your character can die. Uh, so very, very cool. Um, they also have, if you go up here, you can actually see what kind of skills they have. So there's a variety of skills. Some of them are related to equipment. Some of them are, uh, you know, like uh, uh, the ability to clean. So she has basic cleaning skills. She has basic mechanical skills. She has uh, basic electrical generation skills. In other words, uh, well, we'll talk about that in a second. She can... Uh, torch, I, I think, I don't remember exactly what that is. I, well, I, it's been a while since I've played, so be gentle with me. But uh, you can also find help in here. Uh, their personnel files, so, <laughs> uh, name Venus. Uh, she is from Colorado. She's age 23. Very young to be traveling the universe. It reminds me a little bit of aliens. Like, these guys are contractors hired by, you know, the big 
Blackwater Industries, which is like this evil conglomerate, right? Sends you out to planets that, you know, could have aliens and stuff. And maybe they know about it. You don't. And you've got to, you know, <laughs> whatever. It, you know, it just reminds me of that. She likes sports, luxury bars, meditating, dislikes gambling. Really interesting. I don't know. Does it mean anything? I don't know. But and then, of course, a psychiatrist report, which is even more, you know, all this depth. Like I said, it's, it's oozing personality, right? They try to give you as much information about these characters. And each of these characters do have very distinct personalities. And you'll get to see that as we play. But let's read the psychiatrist report for Venus. Um, Venus is a well-balanced person with a few, with few, if any, issues to concern the company. She likes a wide range of activities and is motivated by a desire to achieve financial security. Her description, uh, that's me, just uh, look, I just want to make money and get out of this crummy company before they get me killed. Okay, uh, I would say that I was an honest, straightforward kind of person, still sane, which is kind of surprising given the company I keep up here. Now, what's interesting about Venus is Venus is probably the only character in this entire game I would hire out of the gate, you know, like to actually take on a mission like this, like traveling to a different planet or, but I'm assuming this company has been doing this for a long time. They're probably have trouble setting, finding enough people, uh, good people to send to these colonies, I guess. I don't know. Now here's one thing about the steam edition is that you're always in the zoomed out mode. Uh, like I said, it is, it is HD and you can see everything. That's great. But you used to be able to zoom right in, or maybe the game was only zoomed in all the time and you used to be able to see everything a little bit more clearly. So I don't know. That's, that's, that's one of the things that's cool, but kind of bugs me at the same time. Um, now you can set their primary job. So in other words, Venus can work on the power oh, no desk problem. and that could be her primary job. And I believe if I, uh, I'm not sure how to set their secondary. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So whatever. So it's a left click game. Everything that you want to accomplish is accomplished by left clicking. Right clicking removes um, what you have in your hand. So in other words, I left click on Venus. Venus is more or less in my hand. And then I can click on odd, on jobs, on people, whatever. And she can interact with those things. So now if I click on the oh, desk, okay. the power desk, she, her primary job will become this working on the power desk. Now, if I click on another job after Okey that, dokes. then that job becomes a primary job and the uh, first job I clicked on becomes a secondary job. Now, there you'll notice there is also a little clock in here. Now, as that clock clicks down and you'll notice there's a little space where it's not green. Wherever it's green here, that means she will work for as long as this is green. Now, as her happiness declines, in other words, these needs start to become more important. In other words, uh, her, we'll talk about what each, each one of them do, but uh, as the financial need, you know, kind of lowers and the social need kind of lowers, this green area will, will get smaller, which means she will not be able to work as long as if they were full up. So in other words, she'll have to stop and, and work on those things. Now this game, as I remember, it was a little bit of a click fest. In other words, it's not as autonomous in Sims. In other words, they won't always do the things you need them to do, or they won't always do the things that are, you know, sitting there on their needs list that needs to be done. Sometimes you have to go and you have to click. So I don't know. I, that was one of the things that did kind of bug me about the game too, but it's still fun. Like I said, as long as you understand that right away, that it is a bit of a click fest and you're going to have to do some of these things. So now let's talk about financial needs to to fix your financial need, in other words, to get paid, essentially, you click on the banking machine. So Venus, and she, like I said, she will do this on her own. She will actually go to the banking machine and withdraw her salary. So of course you have credits up in the top right corner. This is the base credits. She gets paid from those credits, I believe. Like I said, if I get some of these things wrong, we'll fix it as time goes on. Uh, the entertainment need is fixed by uh, when we eventually we can build things like, uh, I don't know if it shows it here or not. Uh, food and drink. No. So we, it's only showing us what we, oh yeah, there it is. The disco. So we can build the disco floor, which means she can go and dance on the disco floor, which would, of course, in, uh, fix that entertainment need. Social need, pretty straightforward. You need to interact with other people, but there are better ways to do that. So you can interact with people by, uh, go at creating a, uh, oh, maybe it's, maybe it's not here. There is a social area, for example, and you can have two people sit down and talk, or you can actually just go and talk to somebody. Pretty straightforward. Um, you can do that by going to view relationships too as well and clicking on them there. Not gonna so, happen. Oh, she can't She can't talk to Stig yet. So in other words, Stig is coming in and of course Tammy is coming in. Stig is, uh, well, we'll talk about them in a second. And then food needs, of course, you have to build 
uh, something that, uh, so you have to extract nutrients from the planet. So these are plants that we can extract nutrients from. And then we can convert those nutrients into food with a mess hall and they have to eat at the mess hall. So it turns this goop into goop burgers or paste burgers or something. And then you've got sleep needs. Of course, you sleep on a bed, which we're going to build shortly here. Uh, and then you, you assign them a bed and then they sleep on the bed when they're tired. Hygiene, of course, you build a shower. I don't know if we can build a shower quite yet. No, I don't think so. And of course, health needs, you eventually can build a health facility and they can heal themselves. All pretty straightforward, right? <laughs> um, the biggest, most pain in the butt thing about the game is is uh, the social interactions can be a huge pain in the butt. So my recommendation when you're playing this is to get those Bad. things fixed as quickly as possible. Why is Stig not coming in? Reporting for duty. Heading what? out. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah. so. Hey, you. All right, so uh, now, of course, each one of these personalities, like I said, they're like almost archety archetypal personalities. So you've got Venus, who's kind of the do good, hardworking, uh, make the money and then go live the dream. You know, the American dream or the Canadian dream, I guess, in my case. And then Stig is this Norwegian. Uh, how come I can't click on? There he is. Okay, so Stig is Norwegian. And he's got this really extreme accent. <laughs> and I, 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 it's, it's almost unreal. Now, you'll also notice with Stig, he has a star beside the food need. That means food is very, very, very important to Stig. Stig needs to eat. He's a growing boy. So you got to feed him. And if that gets low, he will his, his little green area will shorten very quickly. He will become very unhappy very quickly if he does not get food. So keep that in mind. And I think he eats more often. I think the star also means it declines faster. I don't know. Now, Tammy is... Okay. Let's all right. go, right click Steve. to clear everything. I gotta remember that. So, Tammy. Tammy is the typical trailer trash drinking, kind of sleazy, not a very good person, hard to get along with. Everybody knows this person or has somebody like this in their life or knows somebody like them <laughs> who's always in the bar, who's always had a tragic relationship mishap and... Uh, of course, yeah, problem. Anyway, so her, she has an extreme need for human contact, which is ironic because she doesn't get along with anybody. She's nothing but trouble. So, as you can see, <laughs> this company, Blackwater Industries, is not Heading very out. bright in its hiring pro practices, you know, bringing down three people that totally wouldn't normally mesh in real life. Why would they mesh in a situation that's extreme, like in a really harsh environment in another planet? Anyway, so the first mission, pretty straightforward. All we need to do is need to get... Tam Tammy on the power desk. Now, if I remember Tammy, if you go to her skills, she does have the power skill. So I think there is a way to teach a character new skills, um, but if they do not have the skill, they cannot do it. In other words, if she doesn't have power desk, she can't go on there, but she does have the power desk skill, so she can can get better at it the more she does it. Now, of course, with only the basic skill, she's only going to be able to... Jim, I'm a cowgirl, not an explorer. <laughs> really? Okay, anyway, so Tammy, is, she, okay, she can okay. do Hokey work smoky. on the power desk. Now, working on the power desk will give us battery power. So let's go to the bridge here. So we'll just pause it here again. So the bridge, this shows us all of our basic stuff that's going on with our base. Pretty straightforward. We can also access Venus, Stig, and Tammy from here. So I can just click on Venus and go straight to her, which is very, very handy. Because it is everything smaller, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to click on any, on everything. So you can actually go to the bridge or hit spacebar. Spacebar will bring up the bridge too as well. It's amazing that I even remember this stuff. And it shows you how much I played this game before. Okay, so looking on here, you can see how much oxygen we have in the system. And these things do banks. In other words, there must be batteries in the base because... Uh, we can actually accumulate power and store it and we use power uh, gradually as we use facilities in the base and oxygen same thing we can bank the oxygen in the base and i don't know if there is a limit i'm sure there is but it's showing you right now that the oxygen is going down fairly fast the energy is going down just a little bit because we're not using that much energy so now when we throw tammy on the power Why station not? she is going to start generating power using the solar panels Right, so these are the solar panels back here. So once she sits down, there they go. The solar panels are going up. All right, so pretty straightforward. So let's go back to our bridge by hitting spacebar. Oh yeah, and that was one of our mission objectives. That's kind of neat. efficiency, 30%. Right, so we are earning, uh, I think it's 40 power, whoops, 
sorry, hit the wrong button. Uh, 40 power every, I don't know, however many seconds, whatever. Um, but you'll notice it's it's going up one bar. Now, as Tammy gets better at that skill, at the at the power skill, uh, this will start to go up faster and faster and faster. And that becomes increasingly more important um, until you get her up to 100% efficiency. Now, once she reaches 100% efficiency, and she, if you're not getting any more power in the base, you're going to have to build more solar panels. I hope that all that makes sense. Now, there is another station. I don't know if Tammy can sure. use this station. Right. Oh yeah, she can. Okay, so the oxygen station, very similar to the power station. Uh, like I said, it she will start to work on putting oxygen in the base. Oxygen, if you run out, is is not good. <laughs> I, I I don't remember exactly what happens if you run out of oxygen, but I I, I mean it's pretty straightforward. That's probably not a good thing. Um, so she can bank oxygen the same way. So we're gonna get You're her back the on the boss. power. Whoops, no, Stig. Uh, yeah, Stig. You're the boss. Uh, no, we're going to keep Pat, Tammy on the power okay. station. So Let's there's, go, you know, Stig. there's some really Whenever important choices you need to make near the beginning of the game. Um, Tammy, you could have Tammy dedicated Bye, to things like I'll cleaning and really simple stuff and really not have her do anything important. I'm going to pause it here again because important things are happening. Um, or you could give her some really important skills like power generation and get her doing some important stuff right away. And then she actually becomes a valuable character later on. But if you don't do that right away, she she's real. She's kind of a liability because look at this. Need for human contact. Already nothing. Which means she's got it. She's got to socialize with somebody in order to work longer hours because she's almost done her. See, see how this has turned to yellow and it, there, she actually is going to work a shorter period of time because her her happiness is so low. So the only way to Mine fix that off. is, of course, to interact with other people. And of course, Tammy doesn't get along with anybody. She's OK with with Venus, but you know, I mean, it's they're not Sorry, super good friends. Now, if I try, happen. now I'm gonna force them to to chat, which is fine. Now, if I forced her to chat with Stig, Stig doesn't like her at all. If they did a forced, if I did a forced chat between those two, it would just make things worse, and it would not improve this uh, need for human contact things. But but we'll, we'll try, we'll try that. Venus. Let's see if they will interact. Let's see here. What's Tammy doing? Or what's Venus doing? Here I can talk to. They should interact. Or not. Yes, Mr. Spock, me and who are on it. Oh, you Do can I also, of course, you can Ranger. you can advance these relationships to the point where they, they actually... Are you out of your mind? I can't do that. Okay, so it looks like Venus... Oh, yeah, yes, because Mr. Venus, Spock, I said earlier on, I said that she it. has a primary and a secondary job. Primary job is oxygen, secondary job is power. Okay, so let's get some other stuff done here. Mission objectives. We need to assign beds and stock ba stockpile base nutrients. So first off, beds. Let's get those down. Bed. Now, we're going to put uh, three beds in this little tiny room. Now, each bed needs to be assigned individually. Anybody so Tammy is going to get her own bed. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? You Reporting hello? for duty. Sure. There we go. Tammy. Uh, you'll notice Tammy has a crazy, crazy kind of psycho porn bed. And Venus has uh, just a plain old, you know, straight Reporting up. She's very, duty. you know, straight laced. And Stig... He has some boss. kind of crazy skull I'm on his bed. So there, there's the personalities. If you want to know what the personality is like, just build a bed for them. Okay, so now we need to, of course, build a device that gives us food. So the mess hall will is a place where they can Space eat, but if they have needed. nothing to eat yet, so we need to build an industry, which is a nutrient react or a nutrient extractor. Nutrient now the nutrient nice. extractor needs to I be really manned. Storing up some base nutrients. We're gonna get hungry soon. Yes, nutrient extractor needs to be manned. So uh, Stig, I believe, has the skill. Let's just double check. Uh, yeah, I think so. I, I, I'm not even sure. <laughs> Which what is which? I I don't know. Pretty sure. Yes. Uh, Stig, nutrient You're extractor. Um, hey. <laughs> sure. Oh, the job. <laughs> okay, so uh, Tammy is going to generate okay. power, I believe. Let the go, Stig. I, it's it's I gotta remember you know like the right click clears and the left click activates right so Stig is going the long way what we should have done is build him a place that he can leave the building just uh, airlock right so you can build yeah. an airlock like that that way next time he can actually leave the building right here and hopefully there's enough room he can get in between and all he's got to do is go sit in this machine and the machine will use this he, he basically drives this little tractor thing the tractor thing goes out and he, it grinds up all this uh, hydromorphous is that right hydromorphous is that what it's called hydromorphous grinds up all this hydromorphous turns it like it's a big juicer essentially it's juicing these these space plants into this green gunk and then it comes back here and it processes it and it changes it into nutrients then the nutrients get 
picked up by this little robot here and brought back to the uh, mess hall where people can eat. Something I don't know, makes plate, sense. So I... Tammy, oh, Tammy interacted. She must have interacted with uh, with Venus at some point, yes. <laughs> so there he goes, he's grinding down these little plants and of course it should show up in the machine as this green gunk, there it is. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Um, I wonder, I wish there was uh, a way to Power efficiency, yeah. 20%. I'm just, I have to remember, can we con make a control group, maybe, of Stig? Okay, let's go, Whoops. Stig. Stig, okay, nope, didn't mean to do that, Stig. Nope. You're the boss. All right, he needs to eat. You're uh, the sorry. boss. Sorry, Stig. Yeah, um, it's too bad you can't make control groups to control your people, because otherwise, the only way to get to your people, you can do it this way or you can click out here, but clicking out here can be a little bit of a pain. <laughs> right, okay, so there, if you look, Stig, okay, so he's eaten, or he's eating right now? You're the boss. Oh no, here he goes. No, You're eat. the boss. Oh, no. You're I, the boss. I don't know, I don't know what I did. I must, I don't know, I must have clicked and told him to get off of that machine, but maybe he couldn't work that machine while he's, oh, because his shift is over, because he's so unhappy, that's why, that's right. So I'm, I'm actually forcing him to get back on shift, because, uh, well, I suppose I could get Venus out here. Venus is probably has the most skills of anybody, whereas Stig has some really good skills, but not a lot of them. So yeah, he's uh, he's he can mine. I think this is uh, defense. He can operate defenses. He can use a, a flamethrower. Uh, okay, so did we get? Uh, Stig won't work anymore. Oh, okay, yes, so I do that. Okay, so let's let's get. Ah, darn it. Let's get Venus out here. Why can't I see this is this is where yeah, this we no need problem. to fix this. <laughs> I need to make it so that uh, I don't know, I guess I guess we'll operate like something this. So Stig Stig is gonna refuse to work now until he gets something to eat. So I'm not doing very good here because I've been trying to explain everything as we go, so I wasn't really operating very quickly. Okay, so I'm Venus, the there we go. So somebody has to be in this machine in order to pick up those nutrients that Stig just got. Stig's quite pissed off. He's also He's also upset because everything is kind of messy right now, so we need to assign somebody to cleaning, but we can't do that until we get a janitor closet, I believe. All right, Stig. Uh, yeah, this this is this is awkward, but uh, You're the boss. there, Stig. Now he should be able to go eat, and that should improve his mood, and we should be able to get him to back go back to work. Now he would have automatically come here and eaten had there been nutrients here, but uh, yeah, it just uh, <laughs> wasn't there. So now the mission objectives is to gather. Four capsules of these nutrients, I guess, or five, five of them. So we've already gathered two, so we just need uh, three more, which actually won't take very long. Now, if it, you get to a point in the game, oh, I'm going to get even with you. That's an interaction. That was a social interaction, and it didn't look like it went very well. Stig looks like, have you not eaten yet, Stig? What is going on? Why are you not eating, dude? Eat. Go to the mess hall and eat. Gah. That's the last straw. I, I don't understand why why he's not eating. <laughs> so I remember this. I remember being frustrated by this, like, in 2003, where, you know, the, there. Okay, so I, maybe I was clicking in the wrong spot. There, now he's actually eating. Ah, oh, thank goodness. So now, Venus, uh, Venus is the only person that can actually talk to Stig and have a decent conversation. Uh, Venus is kind of the, the glue that binds this whole place together hey. and keeps it all running because without Venus, uh, Tammy and Stig would pretty much kill each other. <laughs> Heading out. I wonder if, uh, yeah, uh, so there is advanced, oh right, so that's what this is. Okay, so this little thing that pops up above, so I'm, I'm selected, v I've, I'm selected on Venus. Now if I click on Stig, I can actually do small talk with Stig, like that. Hi. Yeah, there. Holidays. And then what that should improve Stig's. There, friend. now Stig's got really that well, uh, human contact and thing done. So I can also Wonderful. go here and do romance. I can try to have romance with Stig once our relationship gets to a certain point, which is okay. But okay, I've always made it a personal challenge when I'm playing this game to do funny romances like Tammy and Stig, which is really highly unlikely, especially at this point in the game, because they, they literally hate each other. <laughs> it's It's... Not a pleasant situation. So disco. let's also build a disco, get that down. Now keep in mind, you can remove these little, uh, I don't know what they're called, blocks or 
whatever. You can remove them if you decide later on that you don't want them in there. So, uh, and because later on you may decide you want to build a bigger dome over here or something, you know, whatever. And actually, I hate this little dome. This this one, I remember this. You always start with this little dome right here. And uh, eventually you can build the big domes, and it's just there's enough space to put a bigger dome rather than the smaller dome. Whatever. Okay, that is the first mission done. So I think I think we have enough time. We'll do one more mission, and then we'll call this an episode. And I'm really excited Black to be playing Water this. Industry. So these first few episodes, it's kind of like a tutorial. Hold on. Arrive. Base cleanliness levels are low cleanliness. and are affecting staff morale. Use the cleaning stations provided to rectify this situation. Hygiene pods and social area facilities are right. now online and available for staff usage. Right, Time so now we, we can build a, uh, oh, human resources. Oh, the hygiene pod, right, so people can shower. That's really There's important, no actually. I pod. couldn't imagine being in a small space like this and not being able to shower, especially with somebody like Tammy. Ugh, ah. uh, so, and then uh, the social area, very, very important. This is how, because right now Tammy, or yeah, Tammy and Stig can't be friends Personal because message. Uh, okay, any social interaction good advice here Stig and Tammy need to sort out their problems before things get out of hand get us a social area down here and then just tell Tammy to go and talk things through with Stig right so this is a social area so if Tammy and Stig decided to try and talk just casually right now it's just gonna make the relationship worse the only way to fix this now is I'd to slam have them scumbag. sit down in this little social area and talk it out and it, it's effective it, it works, but of course you have to take them away. That's the thing. This relationship thing takes away from the base. Like it, it, uh, it doesn't. Imp Hold on. What else? What? Oh, uh, cleaning is, is the next thing. So. Like the Lone Ranger. No, 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 no. Oh, hey, what are you doing, Tammy? A clean and post, will you? I gotta remember. So right click to unclick whatever you've got. Okay, so go chat with Stig, Slam and we'll just scumbag. watch this relationship as it improves. And you actually hear them interact, and it's kind of funny. It's too bad we can't zoom in. I miss zooming. Care much for Typhung around here. Or whatever you call it, thing, chi, ta, thui, no, fung, chai, chai, ti, you know, mission objective has whatever. been completed. Eh, whatever. Oh, I hate wedges. I <laughs> wouldn't like to promise, shouldn't we be in the mine? Maybe. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay, so... Tammy, you just uh, do whatever you need to do. So anyway, th that little social inter social interaction fixed their entire relationship. One little sit down. There must be some kind of electronic device in here that I don't know, some kind of mind control or something, because that was pretty crazy that they you know fixed that relationship that quickly. So anyway, let's uh, put down. What else do we need? So we need uh, food and drink. Nope. Uh, plants. That's kind of cool. Uh, I don't remember how we set up cleaning. I thought there was like some kind of cleaning closet. Oh, running machine. Oh, right on. But uh, we're running out of room, actually. That's that's a bit running of a machine. issue. Yeah, there's like no room. Yeah. Actually, what we should do is put that hygiene pod. Let's put the hygiene pod in with Personal the hygiene beds. Pod. No, we can't. Oh, man. Okay, where is... How do we clean? How do we set somebody to clean? Power I don't remember. Efficiency, 20%. Clean up litter. Yeah. Okay, so it's the engineering. So under engineering... I don't know why I didn't look there before. That's weird because I, you know, when I see this the symbol, I think settings, right? So I didn't think to look there. Okay, so you have a maintenance post which allows uh, your internal facilities to eventually break through daily use. Assign someone here to fix them up, so somebody to do maintenance and repair items, which is, becomes very important too as well. Um, cleaning post. That's cleaning what we're post. looking for. And actually, we're gonna put the cleaning post in the bedroom because we can't yet build these biodomes, um, and we're really limited on space. So. Uh, let's see, she's gonna need sleep. Hygiene, yeah, so we, we do need to rebuild that hygiene pod because it will not fit in that little Personal room. Personal hygiene pod. Ah, but you see, we don't have any room for anything else. And I don't know, it, it seems very cramped for, to me, but I guess I guess if you're actually building a real space colony, it would probably end up looking pretty cramped. Okay, so Tammy, you are going to Heading have out. your, s no, ah, man, I, I always do that. Right click, clear what you have in your hand. Personal and message. then click on somebody. Hey, look out there. Right at the edge of the base, there's some pretty little red lights flashing away. Who oh. put those out there? Personal message. They're operational zone markers, Tammy. A scout ship drops them down here. We're not allowed past them. Haven't I told you this already? Tammy. Jeez, Tammy. Okay, so Tammy, she only has, uh, she, her only primary job right now is, of course, working power. And I want her secondary job to be cleaning, because that seems like a good job them. for her. There we go. Off to the job. 
Uh, actually, no, let's... Oh, right, because now, once you've got them both on here, you can just flip between them. But she is, uh, she's actually off right now, so it looks like she's gonna go, maybe go dance on the, uh, disco. On her own, we'll see. I don't know what they'll do. See, like I said, the autonomy is kind of okay, but not great, and it doesn't tell you what they're doing. In other words, she's going off to do something on her own. I haven't clicked on anything, but I don't... Maybe she is going to clean right now? Could be. Ah, yeah, there she goes. So she's actually going to do some cleaning, which is great. And that will finish the mission for us as well. But I, yeah, okay, I see. So she's quite unhappy. Even though uh, even though she's actually doing this job, you'll notice okay, that that little uh, job, the amount of time that she will spend doing that job is now much shorter because she needs to she needs to go boogie on the dance floor. Uh, but let's just see. how How is Venus doing? Now, uh, Venus looks like she could use uh, a little bit of a dance boogie kind of thing. I wonder if we can remove that secondary job. Delete job. Ah, yeah, we can, okay. Uh, but it looks like if we did this, it would delete our primary job, so we'd have to switch and then delete the other one. Whatever. Okay, so I, everything's going really well, and we're almost done cleaning the base. And look at Stig. He's doing the whole headbang, and yeah! <laughs> the, uh, the Metallica or the uh, Led Zeppelin, you know, headbanging, except he has no hair. It's an irony. Bad accent and a bad dancer. Hey, Stig, did you hear that? It sounded like a marker beacon dropped to me. I guess uh -oh. we're gonna start to see some real action soon. A marker beacon. Personal message. Yeah, I heard it somewhere to the north, I think. Uh -oh. Hey, run an organic scan, will you? I think we got some lupulus outside. Someone's going to have to get out there and burn it away before it gets out of hand. So there's this plant life, that's right, there's this plant life that causes all sorts of trouble and you have to actually go out with a flamethrower and, and kill it. <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying this. I think this is just about done. Um, what's interesting is it, it does become more interesting because you be it becomes this balance of skills too as well. And oh, it looks like, oh, she's using the shower. Ew, naked Tammy, disgusting. Oh, turn up that vent. <laughs> but anyway, um, it does become this balance of skills, and eventually you do get more there? people. Hello. Oh, she Hello. needs to chat with somebody. Uh, but everybody's, I suppose. Actually, let's let's get her and Stig to uh, go do the friendship thing. I, oh no, that's Venus. Ah, see, I keep doing that. That's fine. Venus and Stig can chat. That's fine. Um, but anyway, it does become a little bit of a balancing act, especially once you start to get many, many colonists. And see, right now it's not a huge deal. Like, food Looks isn't like a huge deal. This is all the extra surplus mission. food we have right now, which Absolutely. is a lot. Look at this. This, so this is huge. That's enough here. for these guys to this last so for a very plain. long time Whatever. without should we not be mine? Without any trouble. Um, but once you get a full crew on your base, possible. that drains now very, very quickly. Sting. So you almost have to have somebody working food 100% of the time. It's crazy. And it's the same goes with uh, power and generation and oxygen generation. The more people anything. you have on your base, the more oxygen gets used up. And the more facilities you have operating at the same time, um, the, of course, the more power that gets used up. Oh, base skins it. Oh, see, it also shows you some uh, really cool base information here. So, uh, different. Oh, so there's three base personnel. Our finances, we're being subsidized right now. Uh, and it shows how much we spent on wages, of course. Wages that uh, uh, fixes their finance need. And then our mothership. Oh, live video feed of our mothership. Oh, that's cool. Neat. Oh, whoop, I didn't mean to do that. And, of course, uh, our base conditions. Base conditions. Oh, okay. So how much maintenance we need and uh, the vegetation encroachment so that's what he was talking about those plants that encroach and you have to you have to kill them uh the buildings that need repair and of course how much litter left uh four percent okay so tammy i want you to go hang out on the chair we need to talk this thing through. with venus Sit. that way that their relationship should get uh nice and fixed up because they are almost not friends and of course uh, tammy need needs a little anymore. chat anyway remember fun Maybe. Why in blazes ain't we digging? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Why are my keys always in the last place I look? Possibly. 
Do I look like Christopher Columbus? Whoops, sorry. Okay, so Tammy, I, just, I need you to go clean, dude. And you gotta remember when you're playing this, right click will clear everything that you have, and then left click. I, I'm gonna keep saying that, I gotta say it for myself, because I forget. So yeah, once you get, like, right now, we've got enough power to last for a very long time. But once we get a number of different base facilities up, we're gonna pretty much have to keep somebody working the power station all the time, or have them really high in skill, or, and or, have lots and lots of solar panels. Right now, it's not a huge deal. So we can also build, uh, what else? Uh, airlocks, uh, lights. Right. So in other words, if we wanna see what's going on up north here, they were talking about some plants encroaching. Ah, there we go. So that's these plants up here. Um, now, I don't remember what kind of damage they can cause or why we need to kill them, but uh, I think in the next mission, we have to actually burn them down. And it, it becomes really cool. You actually get a guy with a flamethrower and you actually just burn them down. Now, I think there's some there's some mystery around these mission plants and possibly completed. some aliens. But I guess we're going to have to find mission out about success. that next episode because we are done and Stig and Tammy are now best friends. Ew. <laughs> Look at the belly. <gasps> There should be, I don't know, usually companies have a policy against showing off the midriff. And really, this company needs to establish a policy against showing off the midriff. And what is with, this is not an astronaut's outfit. Neither of these are a astronaut's outfit. This is crazy. <laughs> What's with the belt buckle? Look at that. That's nuts. Uh, he is, he is, he's pretty crazy. He looks like he's genetically modified. She looks like a... Uh, Oh, send her back. Anyway, okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of Space Colony. I'm going to really enjoy playing this with you guys, and I'm looking forward to the next episode. Take care.